Another beautiful day here across the valley. It's been a little chilly, but at least we have sunny skies. Here's what we're looking towards for the next couple of days for tomorrow. Big travel day just ahead of Thanksgiving Day and travel conditions are looking promising. We will have mostly cloudy sky. Clouds will be increasing throughout the day after a mostly sunny morning, and then we'll become breezy as well. For Thanksgiving Day, partly cloudy. Highs are only going to be in the 20s, so a brief warm up tomorrow, and then temperatures dive. Black Friday morning temperatures are going to be in the single digits for many, some in the low teens, and only 20s for afternoon highs uh, on the afternoon of our Black Friday. Looking ahead, or excuse me, looking at now, here's what we're seeing here in Fargo. 38 degrees, feels like 30. Wind is out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour. Moorhead currently at 36. 34 in Grand Forks, north northwesterly wind at 12 miles per hour. Also a beautiful scene there in the background. Temperatures are generally in the 30s as expected. The warmth, if you can call it that, I guess it's above average for this time of year. 44 in Bismarck, 46 down in Mobridge, South Dakota. There's a warm front way out to the west and that will start to move in. We'll time it out in just a second, but we're also still seeing a little bit of that breeze making for some wind chilly conditions. Wind still gusting to 21 miles per hour in Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls, 23 miles per hour in Alexandria. Now let's take a look at your travel conditions. Again, a big travel time frame ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. If you're heading to the west, all you're going to see is some high cloud cover until you hit Montana. Places like Great Falls and Billings seeing a little bit thicker cloud cover, but dry if you're traveling to the east. Same thing, just a little bit of thin high cloud cover. We are quiet uh, regionally and air travel is on time. Not seeing any delays from Denver to Chicago through Fargo. Looking nationally, we do have a system out to the east bringing some snow to parts, rain for most of the east coast, but it looks like at least some of the major airport hubs, it's not impacting travel. So across the nation, Travel's looking good this Thanksgiving holiday. As for road conditions, we are still looking good across the tri-state area. Your first alert forecast shows that the breeze is still going to be with us just for a couple more hours. It briefly goes lighter. Temperatures dip into the 20s for most by 10 o'clock tonight. But we talked about that warm front that'll be moving in. Temperatures will rise a couple of degrees heading towards daybreak. So we're going to be waking up to temperatures in the low 30s. Some of us warmer than what we're seeing right now, but also a few more clouds as well. Wind shift out of the north and west. Temperatures in the early afternoon peaking in the 30s to low 40s and then slipping a little bit towards mid afternoon. Not too much Still looking like a pretty nice day in terms of temperatures, but it is going to be a little bit blustery through the evening. So tomorrow in Fargo starting off in the low 30s, warming up into the mid 40s the early afternoon and then slipping. So tomorrow afternoon, upper 20s to low 30s north, 40s to 50s down to the south. Tying it all together here in your planning forecast. Still looking cool as we approach the weekend, but it's also still looking dry, not seeing any big systems in the forecast. I mean, dry isn't necessarily a terrible thing too. I'll, I'd rather take dry than heavy snow. Yeah, especially when sure. so many folks are traveling. Exactly. Well, also Summer, do you know who was uh, traveling or seen today traveling in Minneapolis? No. Take, take a look at this. Talk about a, a bird's eye view. A oh 511 Minnesota cam recently caught a hawk overseeing traffic on I-94 near Portland Avenue in Minneapolis. Definitely something that you don't see every day. Well, someone's got to do it. So, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, what better view? He has, he's able to see all of the cars and everything like that. Definitely, yeah. definitely watching over. <laughs> exactly. Summer, thank you so much.